all-wheel drive, 540 kilowatt total power. That's about 800 horsepower, 1,000 kilometers of range. And um, you know what? This is not just for China. This car is going to be sold outside of China, including in Australia. This is very likely to be the first electric car in Australia with a range of over 1,000 kilometers. Now, technically it's CLTC range, but you get my point. This will be the longest range electric car sold in many markets outside of China. And I've got to say, actually, it's pretty good. Actually, no, it's really good. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. I've been looking at the Chinese car market since I started this channel. In fact, when I first started this channel, I was talking about BYD. I did lots of videos about BYD. People didn't watch them because no one knew who they were. No one, literally no one in Australia. BYD, never heard of that before. Build your dreams. What does that mean? Well, you know what? Even though back then, three years ago, no one knew who BYD were, they sure as hell do now. You might not have heard of this brand, LM Motors, but there's a pretty good chance you will within the next 12 months. And the reason being, this is going to be a global car brand. They're planning on an assault of Australia, of Thailand, New Zealand, uh, the UK, maybe even Europe as well. Although in Europe, they will have a 58% tariff on this vehicle. So that may not work too well. The IML6 EV, it has a semi-solid state battery and it has 1,002 kilometers of range on the CLTC cycle. So that's probably about 850 kilometers of range on the WLTP cycle, probably 500 miles of range on the EPA cycle. In other words, I mean, a lot more range than you could possibly need. As if you're gonna drive 850 kilometers without stopping. There's no way, no, no one does that. You need to go to the toilet. I mean, unless you're carrying some sort of pee bottle in your car. I tried that once, it didn't work very well. I had a major problem. Don't try that, please don't. Anyway, the point is, I've said for a long time now that electric cars would have a thousand kilometers of range. It'd only be a couple of years away. Well, we're here now. And this is not the only, this is not the only electric car in China you can buy with more than a thousand kilometers of CLTC range. There'll be a lot more of them as well in the coming year. The IML6 Lightyear Edition from IM Motors, which is a subsidiary, basically like a, a sister brand to MG. Yep, same parent company, SAIC. So they are gonna put a 123.7 kilowatt hour semi-solid state battery pack that weighs six, pretty light for that size battery. It only weighs 621 kilograms. So around about 1,300 pounds. They say it'll give this vehicle about 1,000 kilometers of CLTC range. So around about 850 kilometers of WLTP range. In China, this car costs 47,000 US dollars, but there's a reason for that. And it's not just the battery. It also comes with two high powered motors. It's in fact, an insanely powerful car it has nearly 1,000 horsepower. Now getting back to that battery size, guys, Interestingly, the battery is exactly the same size as the battery pack in a Tesla Cybertruck. It's a 123 kilowatt hour battery. So that's identical to the battery size in the, the all wheel drive, you know, the foundation series, dual motor Cybertruck, and also the, the beast mode, the beast Cybertruck as well. So you can see it is quite a big battery, but it's not as big as some of the batteries in other vehicles. Like for example, Neo put a 150 kilowatt hour battery in their 1000 kilometer electric car. So it seems like the energy density must be quite high in this battery for them to get that kind of range. But I don't think it'd be much better than the 4680 battery, to be honest. Anyhow, what else do we know? Well, the company that makes this semi solid state battery is called Qingdao. And Qingdao is actually part owned by SAIC. So that probably helps with being able to get access to these batteries before anyone else. The IML6 Lightyear Edition uses dual motor four wheel drive with a maximum power of 470 horsepower in the base model edition. Now that comes with a 900 volt ultra fast charging tech, which enables the battery to be charged 
400 kilometers, add 400 kilometers of range to that battery in 12 minutes. 12 minutes. I mean, it seems kind of insane, but you know, guys, this is the future. The future is charging your EV in 10 minutes will give you all the range that you need and you won't, you really need to charge anyway because you're going to have, you know, 800 kilometers plus of range. So four, 500 miles of range. I mean, this is pretty staggering stuff, right? So that would equate to approximately 550 kilowatts charging, which is similar to what you can get in Zika vehicles in China. How big is this vehicle? It's about the same size as a Tesla Model S, but a little bit more practical because it's got a hatchback at the back. It's 4.9 meters long, 1,960 millimeters wide. The wheelbase is 2,950 millimeters. How heavy is it with that big battery? Actually, it's not that heavy. It's similar to the weight of, say, a Mercedes-Benz E-Class. It's 2,330 kilograms. So around about 4,800 pounds. Yeah, it's not light, but surprisingly, it's actually a, almost the same weight. In fact, it's lighter than the Xiaomi SU7 Ultra. The SU7 Ultra has only a 98 kilowatt hour battery. So a 25 kilowatt hour smaller battery and Actually, it's a similar size to this car. So I'm not sure what they've done with this, but it's remarkably lightweight considering the size of the battery pack and the fact that it's dual motor as well. Now, interestingly, it's, it's got a, a really unique screen on the inside. It's a 26.3 inch liftable screen. You can lift it up. And it also has a 10.5 inch functional screen on the center console and a half moon steering wheel, which is in some ways a little bit like the yoke from a Tesla uh, Tesla Cybertruck, they used to have them, or they, in fact, they do have them. They essentially look like a yoke, but the Tesla model is played. You can get the yoke steering wheel in that car. It looks a, bit, a little bit like that. And the reason is so you can see the digital screen better. It comes with an NVIDIA or an X chip, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8295 chip, and an NXP S32G chip to utilize NOA or navigation on autopilot in urban environments without a map. Basically, it's like Tesla's autopilot. Well, at least that's the claim anyway. I don't know if it works well. I haven't tested this in China. Hopefully, they will be able to one day. But either way, this car does look pretty awesome. So is IM Motors relevant as a company? I mean, are they selling many cars? Well, carnewschina.com says that they sold 10,000 vehicles in November. So 10,000 electric cars in the month of November, meaning about half as many as what NEO sold. So yeah, they're certainly growing. That's a 15% increase over the number of vehicles they sold the previous year. They're not that well known yet in China, but considering the value, the range of these cars, the performance of them, I reckon they're actually pretty damn amazing. And they are gonna become relevant for sure, because if you think about it, there will be some people that care what is their number one focus. For a lot of people, it's range. And if they want the longest range electric car, this is going to be it.